So Brian, this is for the for the channel that that we have, the Knuckleheads Guide to Marriage. This is you just got married uh, recently again, correct? Yes. Yeah. And how long were you and Heather together before you guys got married? Uh, just about five years. Yeah. Do you recommend taking that much time to get to know somebody before you actually uh, jump into it, or do you do you think you could have married her sooner? Hmm. I would say you definitely need some time to learn about somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually. Yeah. I would definitely say it, it behooves you to learn somebody, especially at my age, uh, yeah. because I've got so many things established for myself now. Right. I think it's absolutely necessary to learn how that other person acts or doesn't act in most situations, specifically financial, security, and otherwise, because all those things affect me daily, right. every day, all day. So uh, without intimate inner knowledge of that, you're going to end up more kerfuffle, so to speak, right. uh, than not. Uh, because of that everyday interaction. Now, how does how does this? Because I know you've been married before. How does this relationship differ from the your previous relationships? No, yeah. it's different in the sense that I wasn't looking uh, at the relationship as in what am I what am I getting as maybe I don't know I don't want to say a prize, but uh, I didn't go out looking for what looked good. I wanted something that was going to last, so I looked for something different, and I looked for a heart this time, and I found a heart this time. That's awesome. Rather, rather than than what someone looked like and went from there. That's you know? that's awesome. Dude. So that that's what happened for me this time. So. That's really. You realize you and I have been friends for almost twenty years. Yeah, we've been right together. Yeah, years, we, yeah, yes, we. I would say actually twenty years, depending on when you came into Kaiser. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I came into Kaiser in '99. So, and I was in 2001. So yeah. really. So yeah. 20 years. Yeah. 20 years. That's awesome. 20 years. Okay. Anyway, so Brian, um, if you have anything you would recommend to somebody who's considering getting married, what, what, would, you, what would you tell them? Whew. Because, um, I mean, I, I know you've been through it. I've seen you go through it. I would just tell them to be dedicated to the person you're with. Yeah. I, I would say if you want it to last, understand that it's not a, it's not a game. There's no tricks here. It's work. Yeah. It's work. It's work. Yeah. And and I, I could just say that so many times. It's work. And if you don't work at it, uh, you will end up in a throwaway relationship because that's what our country does. Yeah. You know, you get with somebody, they don't fit the bill for exactly what you think they should be for you. So you move on to the next one rather than, you know, learning that maybe it's your triggers that are causing the situation. Maybe you're the one that's actually driving something behind that rather than somebody else. Got and it. so learning learning the other person can help you learn for yourself who you are and That's how awesome. you're going to react and treat people. And I, I hope I'm there. I, I certainly feel like I'm there. And uh, I don't intend on ever getting married again. This is it for me. That's awesome. All right, man. So. Yeah, I'm happy for you because I've seen you go through it. So anyway, um, yeah, we're out here fishing and we both caught one each and it's been it's just been a great day. All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you.